ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 591 ਉਹ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਅਨ ਨਿਸਬਾਏ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਅਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਪਰਤੀਤ ਨ ਆਈਆ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਨ ਲਾਗੋ ਭਾਓ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਖ ਨ ਉਪਜੈ ਭਾਵੈ ਸੌ ਗੇੜਾ ਆਵਾ ਜਾਉ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਪਰਤੀਤ ਨ ਆਈਆ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਨ ਲਾਗੋ ਭਾਓ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਖ ਨ ਉਪਜੈ ਭਾਵੈ ਸੌ ਗੇੜਾ ਆਵਾ ਜਾਉ ਨਾਨਕ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਸਹਜ ਮਿਲੈ ਸੱਚੇ ਸਿਉ ਲਿਵ ਲਾਉ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਏ ਮਨ ਐਸਾ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਖੋਜ ਲਹ ਜਿਤ ਸੇਵਿਆ ਜਨਮ ਮਰਨ ਦੁਖ ਜਾਏ ਸਹਸਾ ਮੂਲ ਨ ਹੋਵੇ ਹਉਮੈ ਸਬਦ ਜਲਾਏ ਕੂੜੇ ਕੀ ਪਾਲ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਨਿਕਲੇ ਸੱਚ ਵਸੈ ਮਨ ਆਏ ਅੰਤਰ ਸ਼ਾਂਤ ਮਨ ਸੁਖ ਹੋਏ ਸੱਚ ਸੰਜਮ ਕਾਰਕ ਮਾਏ ਨਾਨਕ ਪੂਰੈ ਕਰਮ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਮਿਲੈ ਹਰ ਜੀਓ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੇ ਰਜਾਏ ਪੌੜੀ ਜਿਸ ਕੈ ਘਰ ਦੀਬਾਨ ਹਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਿਸ ਕੀ ਮੁੱਠੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਗਤ ਸਭ ਆਇਆ ਤਿਸ ਕੋ ਤਲਕੀ ਕਿਸੈ ਦੀ ਨਾਹੀ ਹਰ ਦੀਬਾਨ ਸਭ ਆਣ ਪੈਰੀ ਪਾਇਆ ਮਾਨਸਾ ਕਿਉ ਦੀਬਾਨ ਹੋ ਕੋਈ ਨਸ ਭਜ ਨਿਕਲੇ ਹਰ ਦੀ ਬਾਣ ਹੋ ਕੋਈ ਕਿਥੈ ਜਾਇਆ ਸੋ ਐਸਾ ਹਰ ਦੀ ਬਾਣ ਵਸਿਆ ਭਗਤਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਤਿਨ ਰਹਦੇ ਖੁਹਦੇ ਆਣ ਸਭ ਭਗਤਾ ਅਗੈ ਖਲਵਾਇਆ ਹਰ ਨਾਵੈ ਕੀ ਵਢਿਆਈ ਕਰਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਵੇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਵਿਰਲੈ ਕਿਨੈ ਧਿਆਇਆ ਸੋ ਐਸਾ ਹਰ ਦੀਬਾਨ ਵਸਿਆ ਭਗਤਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਤਿਨ ਰਹਦੇ ਖੁਹਦੇ ਆਣ ਸਭ ਭਗਤਾਂ ਅਗੈ ਖਲਵਾਇਆ ਹਰ ਨਾਵੈ ਕੀ ਵਢਿਆਈ ਕਰਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਵੇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਵਿਰਲੈ ਕਿਨੈ ਧਿਆਇਆ ਸੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਪਰਤੀਤ ਨ ਆਈਆ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਨ ਲਾਗੋ ਭਾਓ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਦੋਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਟ ਪਰਤੀਤ ਅਪੋਨ ਦ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਟਰਨਲ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਪੋਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨਾਉ ਵਰ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਪਰਤੀਤ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ translated by pai kan singh ji na ba in mahan ko shtmin drid vishwas drid nischay yakeen and what does this mean drid means completely steadfast nischay means faith to have completely steadfast faith trust in the guru that is pratit ਅਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਟੈਲਸ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਸੁਖਮ ਨੀ ਸਮਝਾ ਕੈ ਮਨ ਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਪ੍ਰਤੀਤ ਤਿਸ ਜਨ ਆਵੇ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਚੀਤ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰਤੀਤ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਟਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਅੰਡਾਇੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਸਟੈਡਫਾਸਟ ਫੇਥ ਇਨ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਸਿਖ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਸਟੈਡਫਾਸਟ ਫੇਥ ਇਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਤਿਸ ਜਨ ਆਵੇ ਇਨ ਦ ਹਾਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਲ ਐਂਡ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਦੈਟ ਸਿਖ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਚੀਤ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਹਿਸ ਕੌਨਸ਼ੀਅਸਨੈਸ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਹਰ ਕੌਨਸ਼ੀਅਸਨੈਸ will come god lord god at all times that person will be blessed with that feeling of closeness to god 
If you want God to be running through your thoughts at all times, if you want God to be upon your consciousness at all times, if you forever want to be meditating upon God, if you forever want to have that connection with the Almighty, then Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj says, have pratit, have complete undying faith and trust in the Guru. If you put complete faith in the Guru, you follow what the Guru says, you make the Guru the center of your life, then the Lord God will come to abide within you. You will come to realize that treasure chest inside. And on this side, Guru Amar Ji Maharaj is saying, Sadguru ki pratit na aya. Those people who na aya, aya means to come or to dwell within. Those people in whose hearts there is no trust, there is no faith in the Guru. Those people who have not put Steadfast faith into the Guru. Sabdana la gopau. And what else have they not done because they haven't put their faith in the Guru? What else has happened? Sabdana la gopau. Their pao, their love cannot be lago, cannot be attached, cannot be attuned to, cannot be fixed to the Shabbat, to the Guru's words, to the Guru's mantar, to the Guru's bani. If you have no faith in the Guru, if you do not have that steadfast, undying faith in the Guru, there will be no way that you can make a connection with the Shabbat. Because our Guru is the Shabbat, our Guru is the words. As Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj says in Siddh Ghost, Sabad Guru Surat Ton Chela. The Shabbat is the Guru, and my Surti, my mind, my thoughts, my consciousness, they are the disciple. Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj tells us, Bani, Guru, Guru, hai Bani. This Bani, these words of the Guru, are the embodiment of the Guru. They are the Guru. And before us, we see our Shabd Guru Tan, Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So, Satguru ki pratitna aya sabdana la pao. If you do not have that steadfast, undying faith in the Guru, and because of this, if you have no love, if you have no connection to the Guru Shabbat, to the Guru's words, Inside that person, sok, peace, happiness, true joy cannot upaja, cannot blossom. That person cannot find peace. Sok, that person cannot find happiness. That person cannot find joy. Now Guru Pyaryo, Professor Saib Singh Ji has translated this to mean, even if that person and these are the words of Professor Sahib Singh Ji, Guru Paas Sauvari Aave Jai. Now what does that mean? Even if that person comes hundreds of times into the presence of the Guru, comes and goes. Paave means even if, Sao means hundreds of, Geda, continuous comings and goings, Aave Jai, coming and going. Now Guru Mukhpiyaryo, the idea of coming to the Guru's house, if we look at it from this angle first, is to build that steadfast faith within, to hear the stories of those Gursikhs who have put their faith in the Guru and how the Guru has protected them and to endeavour to put our faith in the Guru, to endeavour to make a link with the Shabbat, with the Guru's words. How are we going to make a link with the Shabbat? How can we touch out and reach that Shabbat Guru? By sitting down in the morning and meditating upon Japji Sahib, by reading Sukhmani Sahib, by on our lips repeating Vaheguru, Vaheguru again and again by listening to Kirtan as we're walking along or in our cars, by listening to the Katha, the Vichar of Gurbani, by listening to the stories of the saints, by listening to the stories of Guru Sabji's life, by the Sakhya. Guru Mukhpiharu, these are all the ways of building a connection to that Shabbat. By practicing what the Shabbat says, if the Shabbat tells us we should not speak harsh words, then to stay away from harsh words is practicing and living that Shabbat. The Guru Mukapyaryo, Satguru Padshah Ji, if we look at it from this angle, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj is saying, when you come and let there be no confusions about this, this doesn't mean you shouldn't come to the Gurdwara, you should come to the Gurdwara daily, twice a day for those people who can, once a day, 
at least we should get our darshan of our Guru Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj at least once a day if we can, if we're able to. The Guru Mukhapero, this is no in any way, shape or form saying that we shouldn't come to the Guru. But what it is saying is, when we come to the Guru, inside us there should be this endeavor, this attempt to put our faith in the Guru. If we are coming to the Guru and we have no faith in the words of the Guru, if we are coming to the Guru and we are placing no trust in the Guru's words, and we are not even attempting to make our connection to that Shabbat, to the Shabbat Guru, then we are just coming and going. And another way of looking at this is the way that Santigani Guru Bachan Singh Ji Khalsa has looked at it. Baba Guru Bachan Singh Ji says, even if that person comes again and again onto this earth, is born again and again, comes through many life forms, without putting faith in the Guru, without putting undying faith in Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, and without making a connection with the Shabbat, without putting love and lovingly attaching ourselves to the Shabbat, we cannot be blessed with peace. Nanak Gurmukh Sahaj Milah Satche Seon Levlao Sadguru Amardah Ji Maharaj says When you put the Guru at the center of your life, when you become a Gurmukh, you face towards the Guru, you, you live your life every step of the way looking towards what the Guru says, what the Guru's instruction is. Then what happens? Sahaj Milah Sahaj means with ease, with peace, with balance. Walking along this path, the Guru blesses you with that state of Sahaj and you are united with God. Why? Because what does the Guru do? When you come into the Guru's Hajuri, when you come into the Guru's presence with Pratit, with undying faith and Pao, with true love, then what happens? Satche Seon Levelao. The Guru attaches your live, your consciousness. Lao to attach. Guru Sahib Ji attaches it to Satche. To Satche Seon, to Akal Puruk, to that eternal one. And then what happens? Sahaj Mila. You are united with peace and grace and poise. And Sri Guru Amardas Ji goes on to tell us, E man, O my mind, Asa Satguru Khoj Laho. Koj means to find, go out and find such an eternal Guru. Jit sevea janam maran dukh jai. By serving whom your dukh, your pain of janam, of birth and death, jai, will both be removed. And another way of looking at this is that your pain, all of your pains from being born to dying, all of those pains of this lifetime will be cut, will be removed. Find such an eternal Guru. And truly we can hear the longing in Sri Guru Amitabh Ji Maharaj's words when Sri Guru Amitabh Ji Maharaj repeats this blessed Bani because for many years before they met Sri Guru Anga Dev Ji Maharaj Guru Amitabh Ji Padshah went on many pilgrimages and it was only in their very old age that Sri Guru Amardas Ji Maharaj was blessed with the sharan, with the protection, and with the sanctuary of the presence of Sri Guru Angadev Ji Maharaj. And it is said that Guru Sahib Ji was over 60 when they came to meet Guru Sahib Ji. Guru Amar Das Ji and Guru Anga Dev Ji. So Guru Maharaj is saying, Eh man, O people of the world, O my mind, Asa Satguru Khoj Laho, find such an eternal Guru like Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. Jit Seviya, by serving them, Janam Maran Dukh Jai. This pain of birth and death will be taken away, Jai. And meeting such an eternal Guru as Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, what happens? Sahasa Moor Nahove no sahasa, no stress, no anxiety, no doubts, mool, do not even in a slight way 
ਹੋਵੇ ਡੂ ਨੋਟ ਈਵਨ ਸਲਾਈਟਲੀ ਅਫੈਕਟ ਅਸ ਹਮ ਸਬਦ ਜਲਾਈ ਅਗੇਨ ਦਾ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਆਫ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਆਉ ਹਮ ਆਉ ਸੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਈਗੋ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਜਲਾਈ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਬਰਨ ਅਵੇ ਥਰੂ ਰਿਪੀਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਥਰੂ ਰਿਪੀਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਬਾਈ ਰਿਪੀਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਮੰਤਰ ਬਾਈ ਰਿਪੀਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਮੂਲ ਮੰਤਰ ਕੂੜਾ ਕੀ ਪਾਲ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਨਿਕਲੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੇਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸਰਵ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਦ ਪਾਲ ਦ ਵਾਲ ਆਫ ਕੂੜਾ ਆਫ ਫਾਲਸਹੂਡ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਬਲੋਕਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਫਰਮ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਦ ਗੋਡ ਡਵੈਲਸ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਵਿਚੋਂ ਨਿਕਲੇ ਦੈਟ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਰਿਮੂਵਡ ਫਰਮ ਵਿਚੋਂ ਫਰਮ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਸਚ ਵਸ ਸੈਮ ਐਨ ਆਈ ਐਂਡ ਟਰੂਥ ਵਿਲ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਵਸ ਐਟ ਅਬਾਈਡ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਯੂਰ ਮਨ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਯੂਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਵਿਲ ਦੈਟ ਮੀਨ ਦੈਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਦ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟਰੂਲੀ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਦੈਟ ਵਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਲ ਆਫ ਫਾਲਸਹੂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਕਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਦੈਟ ਟਰੂ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੋ ਅੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਪੁਰਖ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਅੰਤਰ ਸਾਥ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਵਨ ਥਿਸ ਰਿਅਲਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਮਸ ਅੰਤਰ ਇੰਟਰਨਲੀ ਵੀ ਬਿਕਮ ਸਾਥ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਪਲੀਟ ਪੀਸ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਥੋਸ ਮੈਨੀ ਆਰਗੂਮੈਂਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਥੋਸ ਮੈਨੀ ਐਂਗਜ਼ਾਈਟੀਜ਼ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਥੋਸ many things which were built up inside of anger ego hate and greed and attachment they are removed man soko e inside you internally there is sok there is peace there is joy there is poise sach sanjam kar kamai if you follow the sanjam if you follow the discipline of the guru and kar kamai if you do those kar those actions that the guru says if you follow the discipline of the guru if you follow the maryada we call it of the guru what is the maryada of the guru amrit vele uthna to wake up in the early hours to repeat the guru's bani to speak the truth to speak sweetly to share with others the guru pyareo you'll be blessed with peace and balance if you have that sat sam sanjam if you have that true discipline and if you follow the car if you carry out the actions the guru says nanak pura karm satgur mile satguru amar das ji maharaj says pura karm through pura through perfect karm through perfect karm in this case with the sihari on the end means bakshish bakshish means blessing that is a perfect blessing satgur mile that you have met the eternal guru har jiyo kripa kare rajai and when do you receive this perfect blessing when har jiyo when har jiyo akal purakh wah guru god kripa kare blesses you with this grace rajai according to his command so guru amar das ji maharaj is saying through great blessings of god through the command of god you have met this eternal guru shri guru granth sahib ji maharaj wake up and follow the guru's path body satguru ramdas ji speaks to us now jiske ghar diban har hove diban before we begin to translate diban has been translated by sampraday scholars as asra asra means support and it has been translated by professor saib singh ji to mean ruler so gurmuk pero jis ka kar in whose kar in what does kar mean it means the heart of the inner self inside whom in whose heart the ban har ho va the ruler of their heart that they ban that asra that support is har is wahguru this ki mutthi vich jag da sab aaya in the mutthi mutthi means within their fist inside their fist jagat sab aaya the whole world sab means all jagat means world the whole of their world the whole of this world is under the command of their fist those people who have wahguru inside those people inside whom god is ruling over their hearts all of this world serves them lakh chaurasi medni sab sev karanda shri guru granth sahib ji maharaj tells us the all of the life forms are there to serve them all of the life forms live 
and serve them. Tisko talki ke saadi nahi. That person has no talki. Talki means to be under someone else, to be subordinate to someone else, to be under anyone else's commands. That person is not subordinate to anyone in any way. That person is not under anyone else's commands. Kisa di nahi no even of kisa not even anyone. Har di ban. That true king, that true support, Waheguru, Sab Aan Peri Paya. That true king takes all of those people of the world and Peri Paya puts them at the feet of that Gurmukh Piyara, that beloved soul. Who has meditated upon Vaheguru and in whose heart Vaheguru abides. Manasa keho di baan ho koi nas paaj nikla hai. Har di baan ho koi kitha jaya. Manasa keho di baan ho. What does this mean? The di baan ho. The courts of human beings of manas. These worldly courts, people can nasapaj nikla. Nasapaj means to run away, nikla, and to escape. You can run away and escape from the courts of the world. Hardi baan ho koi kitha jaya. But from the court of God, hardi baan ho koi kitha jaya. Kitha means where? Where can you jaya? Where can you go? No one can run away from Vaheguruji's court, from Vaheguruji's commanding. So as a hardi baan vasya pagta ka hirda, such a powerful, all powerful, all knowing, omnipresent Hari Vaheguru, that di baan, that support, that di baan, that king, vasya abides pagta ka hirda in the hirda. Hirda has been translated by many to mean heart and. Roughly speaking, we can translate it as heart. It it really is talking about the inner self inside. The inner being. Inside whom? Inside the inner being of whom the devotees, Vaheguruji Vasya abides. Tin rehde kohde aan sab pagta agga khalvaya. Rehde kohde. What does that mean? All of those who have been, who are left, Rehde kohde, on all of them, Vaheguruji has taken them, Sabha Pagata Agar Kalavaya, and has stood them before the Pagats, the devotees of Vaheguru. Santa Gurbachan Singh Ji has translated this as Rehde Kohde Kohde meaning angry. Those people, even those who are angry at the devotees, Vaheguruji stood them at the feet of the devotees. And a beautiful Sakhi, which briefly I'm going to say relating to this, is that of Sad Khan. Sad Khan leaves the court of the Emperor Aurangzeb. With a thought upon his mind that he's going to bring the head of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj back to Delhi. But when he arrives at Anandpur Sahib and he sees Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, he has darshan of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, he puts his head at the feet of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. Sab pagta agya khalavaya Har nawai ki vadiyai karm prabhat hovay the vidyai, the glory of Harnama, of God's name. Karam Prabhat Hove. Again, Guru Ram Das Ji says, is only Prabhat, is only found by those, is only blessed to those people who have karma, who have bakshish, who have the blessing of God. Gurmukh virle kenet aya. Only very virle, only very few and far between, very blessed souls who are Gurmukh. Who are centered upon the Guru, who follow the Guru's every word and the Guru's every command. Only those blessed people, very few and far between, have meditated upon this name of God. 
ਸੋ ਐ ਸਾਹਰ ਦੀ ਬਾਨ ਵਸਿਆ ਭਗਤਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਤਿਨ ਰਹਦੇ ਖੁਹਦੇ ਆਣ ਸਭ ਭਗਤਾਂ ਅਗੈ ਖਲਵਾਇਆ ਹਰ ਨਾਵੈ ਕੀ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਕਰਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਵੇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਵਿਰਲੈ ਕਿਨੈ ਤਿਆਇਆ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ